seems like the older I get, the less I want to play these massive video games. I just, I don't have the desire or patience for a game that requires entire days of my life to play. And that's one of the countless reasons I find myself turning to the App Store more and more to scratch my gaming itch. But as awesome as gaming has gotten on iOS devices, as convenient as it is, as inventive as the games are becoming, it's still not perfect. What this unique platform giveth in terms of control innovation, it also taketh away. And even in a world of touchscreens and gyroscopes, sometimes you just need a button. Now, I don't want to say this game shatters that paradigm. I can't tell you this wouldn't be better with an old-fashioned D-pad or analog stick, but what I can say is Little Acorn plays better without them than almost any other platformer I've ever played. And that takes nuts. Funny thing for a game that claims to have small ones. <laughs> Just released to the App Store, Little Acorns is about as old school as it gets. You platform, you collect stuff, you find the exit. Now, these gameplay concepts have always been the foundation of this industry, and the game uses them with a contemporary sense of flair. Little Acorns' slick graphics and fantastic controls are the modern counterpoints to the dusty blueprint the game is otherwise built from. You play as a squirrel, and with winter approaching, you have to collect as much food for your family as you can. That entails navigating very clever levels packed with enemies, obstacles, grapple points, and of course, platforms. Like, lots and lots of platforms. <laughs> And holy crap, how sweet the platforming is. From the crumbling platforms, to the elevator platforms, and even the very layout of the levels themselves, Little Acorns feels very retro. It takes you back to platformers like Ice Climber and Kid Icarus, even earlier games like Pitfall. It just has that feel. But what makes it great is that it also has a decidedly modern component as well. Now, a big part of that, obviously, is the controls. Little Acorns has two buttons in the left corner for moving, uh, left and right, and one in the right for jumping. And that's it, and the three-button setup actually works about as perfectly as possible. Little Acorns plays really well, and since it runs at 60 frames, the gameplay is just incredibly smooth. <laughs> Now, in terms of objective, the idea is to collect all the acorns. This opens the door, which allows you to beat the level. The enemies are basically only there to impede your progress, so your real enemy is the clock. You have to open the exit and escape before time expires, but the game gives you a lot of temptations along the way. For example, once the exit opens, fruit appears scattered throughout the level. If you grab all of those before time expires, you unlock some kind of customization option for your squirrel. So there's a risk-reward element to Little Acorns as well, and you seem like you're always pushing that timer a little more than you should. You know, it's, it's strange to me that so many console loyalists just scoff at iOS games like they're the scourge of modern gaming, when in fact so many of them are actually more faithful to the original arcade spirit than the bloated stuff you find on consoles. I mean, there's a purity to a game like Little Acorns that reminds me of my favorite games growing up. And even without its cheap price, charming visuals, and tremendous gameplay, that would be more than enough for me. Ah!